Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is going up more than 2%, 2.65% right now, way more than the S&P. SPY is going up, I'm so sorry, it's dropping minus 0.04%. QQQ is only going up 0.17%. So yes, Tesla is indeed a true monster really impressive going up more than two percent today it's performing extremely well so let's see what's next for it i mean are we still in a bull trend we do we see any chance of reversing this trend right now what to expect next on tesla well i will try to answer these questions and more in this video just first remember my dear friends to click on the like button to support this channel and if you're new around here consider subscribing in order to keep in touch with my daily analysis daily insights every single day i'm here keeping you guys updated on tesla apple nvidia and many other stocks and if you want to have access to more premium analysis consider subscribing the market dive daily newsletter every single day i share many insights uh, this is a node analysis from august 5 but here is uh, an example for you i analyze pi i analyze tesla qqq other stocks that are outside our radars like veil for instance which is flying today it's going up more than seven percent i believe right now before the breakout i analyzed it on august 5 so I think you guys are going to enjoy my services. This is just one example out of dozens. So seriously, I think you guys are going to enjoy my services. Remember the market dive daily newsletter. Now back to Tesla. I guys, I just analyzed Apple today. I did a very nice analysis on Apple. And if I say Apple instead of Tesla, I mean Tesla. All right. So uh, it's because I'm getting old. All right. So seriously. I, I am analyzing Tesla right now. In the one hour chart, we see that it is going up nicely. We feel it. This gap over here, this was a gap. We we could we, we could not tell what kind of gap was this, but right now we have a crystal clear idea. Since it was filled, well, only two days after we open it, we open it, this gap, this is an exhaustion gap. And this is quite good. It is quite interesting because the trend is bearish in the one hour chart. And when we see an exhaustion gap, it is an exhaustion sign. So this is a bullish structure we see on Tesla right now today. It is looking quite good. I think, I think since we filled this gap, we are again above the 21 EMA breaking it right now. We have decent chances of going up. What is the only problem on Tesla right now? The indices. As I told you guys, SPY looks quite weak. It's dropping minus 0.12%. Uh, we don't see any, any meaningful reaction on SPY right now. It is just dropping and uh, there is no zero bullish structures. There is nothing indicating that SPY is going to find a bottom over here it is stabilizing yes this is quite good if tomorrow it does a very nice bullish candlestick pattern over here great i do believe the market will keep its momentum will resume the bull trend because right now it is still a bull trend despite this pullback the trend is still bullish because we don't see yet bearish reversal structures we don't see lower highs lower lows for instance we only see higher highs higher lows and despite the pullback we are still above the previous low at 409 so the trend is still bullish on the overall market the nasdaq index on the other hand is a little bit more bearish we lost the previous support level we are doing a lower low but uh we are stabilizing over here so it is a quite delicate scenario because it feels like investors are just not comfortable in buying right now but they are not actually actively selling shares at this point equities at this point this is why indices they just look weak right now now regarding tesla uh, it is extremely strong way stronger than the indices and uh, we see Amazon going up 0.47. Nvidia is the second best performer among the mega cap companies, but it is going up less than half in percentual numbers than Tesla. We are going up only 1.15%. So see, and the other things, the other mega caps are just 
dropping. So the moment is very delicate. The sentiment looks quite weak. It does not look bearish per se, but weak right now. And uh, we don't see incredible bearish structures all around, only in Tesla. So I am a little bit skeptical. I rather prefer to be an optimistic, skeptical guy right now, but uh, it is looking good. If you ask me, this is a very technical movement. Tesla filled the previous gap. It is above the EMA in the one hour chart. In the daily chart, we hit the 21 EMA. We did a very nice bullish candlestick pattern over here. Uh, at any moment, we close it under the EMA. We just hit it. We are leaving some shadows under the candlestick's bodies over here, but still, still, it seems the EMA did a very nice job holding the price. And right now we see a bullish candlestick pattern today. So to me, if you analyze only Tesla, let's let's be totally oblivious to the overall market. Only looking at Tesla right now, I see this, right? I see higher highs, higher lows. Except for this high, which is equivalent to the previous high, but still, I see only higher lows. Right now, in theory, what should happen is, okay, we are doing a bullish candlestick pattern under a support level. So in theory, we should seek the next resistance around 940 up here. Okay, so this is it. This is the next technical movement we should expect on Tesla from here. But uh, what could potentially frustrate this bullish thesis? Well, if we lose today's low tomorrow, or in the next couple of days. If we lose today's low along with the 21 EMA, I do believe Tesla is going to try to retest 842. And uh, the 842 is the most important support level, as I already told you guys. It is the key point that would trigger this double top chart pattern. So we should not lose the 842 if we want to keep the bullish sentiment active on this. So. But as long as it is doing bullish structures above this key support level, great. Tesla will keep its bullish momentum. And uh, in theory, although we have the 940 as a next resistance, I do believe that Tesla has everything to break the 940, the 955, and uh, keep the bullish momentum over here. Because to me, this movement over here, since, uh, since July 29, Tesla is just moving sideways, all right? And uh, the volume is decreasing, indicating that it is just a time correction. It is just Tesla moving sideways, waiting for the 21 EMA to hit the price again, instead of seeing a very sharp drop to the EMA. No, the price just moved it sideways, waiting for the EMA hit the price. And uh, right now, we do have more support levels to work with, the EMA, the 842, and we have a bullish reaction. So I think Tesla is still bullish. Of course, I would rather prefer seeing another bullish structure in the one hour chart because right now we only see this, right? We only see lower highs, lower, lo lower lows. Right now we are doing, we are trying to break the previous high. If we drop and do this, I do believe we're going to trigger a bullish pivot point, which will be at the same time an inverted head and shoulders chart pattern, a quite bullish reversal a quite powerful bullish reversal chart pattern. And uh, this is what, what it takes for Tesla to reverse uh, the bear trend in the short term and to resume the bull trend in the mid term as well. So I think this is it. These are the most important key points on Tesla right now. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you're still watching this video. Remember to subscribe the Market Dive daily newsletter for premium analysis on Tesla and on other stocks as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will keep you guys updated. Stay safe, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow.